Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gem TV. All right, Libra, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to extend the videos. You can purchase individual videos via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you join my channel, see which one you fancy. I am doing private readings again, so you can only purchase those via my website, gentvtarot.com. All in the description box below. What does Libra need to know about love right now, please? Libra needs to know about love right now. Libra. No, one more. All right. Wow, this has gone so back and forth with every card that I've put out. I'm exhausted already. <laughs> God, oh my gosh. I feel like you're getting the cold shoulder from somebody. I feel like it almost doesn't matter to you. I feel like you're still, you feel like. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. They're giving me the cold shoulder, but they're coming back. That's that's the vibes I'm getting from you. It's, uh, you can see little bits of smoke drifting across. It's, it's I've got incense burning. It's nothing spooky going on. Um, what you are hoping for, and I I almost feel like um, there's a knowing in you that this is what you're gonna get with this person that's why you're still as much as they are not giving you anything they're not talking to you they're they're not seeing you there's there's nothing going on here that you are fully getting the cold shoulder you're still it's okay that's your energy is what i'm feeling it's okay it hurts, but it's like you just know that this person and you have a soul tie and you've, it's like you've got karma to meet together and not like in a karmic debt sort of bad way. It's, it's like, I just get the feeling that you know that this person and you, there is more to the story. It's not over, it's not done, and this is, this is your energy. What else do you need to know right now? There's obstacles in your way. They have given a little bit in the way of keeping you uh, interested, keeping you where you are. They've given you a little bit, keeping you in that energy. I don't know if that's what they mean to do, but I sort of feel like you are manifesting this in. You're looking into things like quantum jumping, jumping onto timelines, things like that. Am I right? Let me know in the comments below. You're looking into things like that. It's like, well, how do we make this happen? How do I get onto the timeline where me and my person are where we're supposed to be? 
And I think you're even kind of thinking free will wise. So you don't want to mess with that either where you're supposed to be because you kind of feel like this is not the way it's supposed to be. Your ego isn't aching, your soul is, right? Am I am I getting there? There's going to come a point where you lose your confidence in this. It's it's going to happen pretty soon. There's that saying, you can only drink from an empty cup for so long, right? And you're going to say, well, all right. Okay, then, my love. Love of your life. You're going to say, all right. When you're going in that direction, I gotta go this way. You might even communicate that to them. I don't think you need to. But I I'm sort of feeling like you have to. I I've gotta tell them. I'm leaving. I'm done. Almost as if it's the one last dish attempt to uh Get them to pay attention, get their soul to listen. What's coming up in the near future? The Eight of Swords is about, that's, it's like you've trapped yourself here. Maybe, just maybe. Part of you's right that this is a soul connection. It's soul deep. And you are supposed to do something together in this lifetime. Maybe you're doing it already. Maybe you're not supposed to get together in this lifetime. Maybe this connection is supposed to teach you something about yourself. And it's already, you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing and that's what your soul knows have you thought about that why is the eight of swords here oh come on dropping cards everywhere why is the eight of swords here Yes. Yes. Right. I was right. Yes. You are trapped here. What you're supposed to be learning is to drink from your own cup of love. To be okay and happy without them in this life. You're supposed to learn that to heal and not need them you are right you and this per person do have some sort of karma together something that you're supposed to do together this is it you're supposed to learn how to be okay without them in this life That's not what you want to hear, I know. I hear you. I'm listening. It's not what you want to hear, but that's the journey. The best you can hope for is that it's not going to get any better. It isn't. So you're sitting there hoping and knowing that there's more to this story. The more to this story is that you're going to be okay in this life without them. You're supposed to be with them because you're always with them. Just not this time. Tell me more about what you need to know. The best you can hope for. The 
Yeah. I'll show you the bottom of the deck in a minute. It's just... So we've got the two of swords in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. And then the empress. This is a... getting your head around being okay without them, healing, learning to love without them. Maybe just maybe this person isn't your love this time and they're always your love and they always have been and maybe they always will be, just not this time. This is part of your soul contract with this person. We gotta learn how to be okay without each other this time. Can we do it? Can we actually do this life without each other? You're always gonna love this person. Time and space doesn't matter. <laughs> They're going through some stuff. Let me ask about that. I'll just, I'll just show you the bottom of the deck quickly. You know, this is your person. I know it is. But you're having a breather from each other. Just in this life. The whole life. Let's ask about them. Why are they, what struggles are they having? They're on their own journey, you're on your journey. Why is the two of pentacles in reverse here for them? So this is them. Lovers in reverse. Seven of swords. The sun in reverse. None of this is good, mate. This is them. They can't seem to get their life in order. They can't seem to um, make love work. I, I kind of get a feeling in this lifetime they're always looking for what's next. They get what they want and then they're like, well, what, what else can I have now? What's, what, what's coming now? What's... You're not going to get <clears throat> any kind of success with this person in this life. And in that, you're learning what you're supposed to learn and they're learning what they're supposed to learn. Um... <clears throat> I almost sort of think the agreement was for you to learn how to be okay without them and for them to see that they're not that great without you. It's almost like you're like, you're, you're going to suck at this one. You're not going to do that great without me. If I'm not there in your life, it's, it's not going to run well and I'm going to be fine without you. It's, I kind of think that that's what this is. It's, it's like, and I think that they're totally playing it out and you were right. The outcome is justice. <laughs> it's, it's a game guys. It's all part of the game, the game of life. And, and if you can manage to live your life and be okay and get on with it, without them you're gonna be okay and at the end of it all when you meet up in the hereafter you're gonna be like mm -hmm, i win and i'm like you were right we can't do this without each other you can do it without me but look at me i didn't i didn't make it this time did i i'm gonna take this into extended in a minute i'm gonna ask about them for you um Ask a little bit about them. What's their sign? Um, how do they really feel about you? 
What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. One last thing for you. I'm going to ask, is there any hope? I'm going to say, though, you, you'd be better to move on. Communication is key. Tell me about it, right? Not truly the bottom of the deck. Conclusions are within reach. I think that say what you got to say to this person and uh, get on with you. Have you no idea that you're in deep? I dreamt about you nearly every night this week. How many secrets can you keep? Uh, do I want to know by the Arctic Monkeys? There's this tune I found that makes me think of you somehow and I play it on repeat till I fall asleep. See you later, guys.